Well, hello there, motherfuckers, and it is time for another album review, and I have something from uh, one of our fallen heroes in metal, Wayne Static, Pig Hammer. Now, as we all know, shortly after Cult of Static, Static X sadly split up, and uh, well, you might be asking yourselves, but wait a minute, wasn't Static X supposed to be on tour when the... Uh, when Wayne died? Well, yeah, but the thing was, actually, that Static X wasn't the original Static X. It was Wayne Static and a couple other uh, band members that weren't even in the original Static X. Uh, Tony Campos, for example, wasn't a part of it. He wasn't on bass. In fact, there was even a little bit of a um, discrepancy about the name. I believe it even went to court over stat over Wayne using the Static X name, sort of almost like a Guns N' Roses type of thing, but maybe not as serious. But it wasn't really the original Static X. However, there was a lot of talk about how much Wayne was actually doing for Static X, and many people say he pretty much wrote everything um, and was responsible for most of it. And you could really definitely see that argument. After all, he was not only... Uh, the rhythm guitarist, but also the lead vocalist. Not only that, but the programmer and the keyboarder. Uh, so, really, um, it goes without saying that uh, Wayne really did most of the work, it would seem. Now, if that's not true, then forgive me, but it would seem like that. Especially when it came to an album like Machine. Now, Machine's not one of my favorite Static X albums, um, I don't know exactly where I would rank it, but I wouldn't exactly put it in the top three, let's say. But uh, it would seem that after Wisconsin Dead Trip, there was already big discrepancies. That's when they lost their lead guitarist, and soon they had to switch it out for a different one. A uh, different guy um, on the third album, After Machine. And the thing was, they already had problems, and most of Machine... Wayne actually says that he wrote most of that album. So it goes without saying that you really have to look at exactly how much work the man did. So Wayne had been planning a side project for a long time. We had been hearing about it um, even before Cult of Static. And it was called Pig Hammer. Um, and really what Pig Hammer is is, well, it's really Static X style music. It's like the same fucking tone the same style of riffs and well i couldn't be happier than a pig in shit to own this album because really um this was like if static x couldn't come together to make one last album then wayne was like well fuck it i'm going to um pretty much you know put my best efforts into it to make this sound like another full-fledged static x album and it really does and it also adds a couple of new elements to things um, you'll notice slight little differences, a little bit of an extension on the electronica uh, usage in the album. But really, um, from start to finish, I mean, this is really a great album. It's another album with really not a really not a bad song on it. Um, you know, it starts off with a really weird intro. Um, you know, and then you've got around the turn, which is just it kicks it right into high gear. A nice opener right there, and Assassins of Youth. Well, that very well might be the best track on the, on the album. I, I, I love Assassins of Youth. I think it's got like a nice little like punk flair to it while still keeping it metal and a lot of attitude. And, and by golly, if you're not fucking um, addicted to that chorus by the end of this song, even after the first listen, then by the second or third time, it's definitely going to catch you. Uh, this is definitely one of his most catchy songs I think I've ever fucking heard. I mean... This is, um, wow. I mean, th th this is like fucking push it, which is makes it really fucking sad. Um, then you've got songs like fucking Static Killer, which the, um, the riff, the main riff, which is just repeated over and over again, like a lot of Static X songs, is just hypnotic. Um, it's just a great fucking song, and that's also another one of my favorites. Um, tr there's really a lot to love about this album. Th there... And it's so sad that this is 
would be the last recording we would hear from, to the best of my knowledge. As far as a studio recording, this is the last I've ever heard, unless Wayne was working on something um, that wasn't really publicized. Um, I, I hope maybe there's a, a couple of things laying around that perhaps maybe could be turned into a new album in the future. We have seen things of this sort, you know, old demos and uh, basement tapes and things being turned into new full-fledged albums. You know, we see this all the time. And it definitely would really, um, it, it, it would be epic if they could do something like that. But for, for now, with Pig Hammer, I mean, this is a great fucking album. Um, and I'm really sad that I really didn't pay much attention to this album. You know, that's the thing. It's a, it's doesn't get a lot of attention. Like, for example, Disturbed, another band that's on hiatus. Um, and and they um, David Dryman, the lead singer, actually has a fucking uh, side project going on, Decide. But it really doesn't get a whole lot of fucking attention. And why is that? Well, because it's a side project. When people hear side projects, well, they tend to think that this is just something that they're doing. They're not going to put as much effort into it. That's pretty much how a side project is really mostly viewed. And you can't really blame a lot of people because a lot of side projects are forgotten. They're just, you know, not held in as high regard as their original band. But really, Wayne Static by himself, uh, this was definitely something fucking totally different. This was Wayne pretty much sort of trying to prove himself that he really didn't need anybody else, that he was tired of all the fucking bullshit, everybody disagreeing and everything, and just, well, just wanted to just, you know, put out an album on his own without all the fucking bullshit. And, well, this very well might be some of his best written work. He had a nice clear head to think about things. This is also when uh, Wayne, well, claimed to be uh, getting off of drugs at the time, and so this is probably a turning point in his life where he's really probably sick of all the fucking BS, and just wanted to get down to the nitty gritty of, well, making great fucking music. And Pig Hammer is definitely a great album, this is definitely a big time recommendation for me, especially if you're as big of a Static X fan as I am, and, you know, you're one person that loves Wayne, and, you know, you can't believe that he's gone, and so, you know, if you share any of those sentiments... And you haven't heard Pig Hammer, or you haven't purchased Pig Hammer, or you haven't done anything to, you know, uh, listen to this album. You you gotta go and fucking do it because you're missing out on the big part of Wayne's life. Did this was his last fucking album, his last fucking recording, and well, to listen to it, well, it's a bit magical and it's a bit sad and it's a definite recommendation. All right, motherfuckers.